Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine coming to you with a weekly podcast of what I call the Common Sense MD. Um, if you notice my shirt, it says I work for patients. That means I just work for patients, not insurance companies, governments, big groups, any of that. Just patients. It's simple. And it's better in my opinion. But anyway, let's talk about what I want to talk about today on the Common Sense MD, which is another supplement that it's actually something your body produces as well, but you may need to supplement with this if you have certain conditions. Um, it's called butyrate. It's really called beta hydroxybutyrate which is different than what I talked about a few weeks ago, which was hydroxymethylbutyrate, um, or HMB. And I talked about that because that's a supplement for really muscles, muscle building, but more importantly, preventing muscle loss. But this today, I'm just going to shorten, it on, shorten the term. I'm going to refer to it as butyrate. Um, so just think of it as butyrate, um, which is a completely different thing for a completely different purpose. So the butyrate I'm going to be talking about today is really a very important thing that your body produces. And I'll talk about why in a minute. But this one really, for today's purposes, is mainly for your gut. Now, it aids in weight loss as well. Um, and it relates to exogenous ketones, which I'll talk about in a minute. But um, I'm talking about it more for your gut today than anything. But it's also a very good weight loss supplement. Um, relates to ketosis. Um, in any event, um, butyrate is a short-chain fatty acid um, that's really crucial for gut repair. It's probably one of the most important substances in your body, really, because, remember, everything starts in your gut. If your gut's not working, nothing's going to turn out right for you. When I get a new patient that's complex, that may have an autoimmune disease, or they're tired, or they hurt, I always the first question I ask them, how's your gut working? 99% of the time, it's not good. So we start with the gut. So everything starts there. Um, so, and remember, 80% of your immune system is located in your gut. And most disease starts there, especially, like I say, the autoimmune diseases. Um, everyone knows you need prebiotics and probiotics. Think of prebiotics as food for the probiotics, those bacteria in your gut that determine a ton of things including your genetics. Um, so whether you get your, your prebiotics from different things like um, onions, asparagus, Jerusalem, artichokes, leeks, fiber, England, those are prebiotics. Or you get your probiotics from your foods like kombucha, beets, sauerkraut, kimchi, apple cider vinegar. They're all good for you. But... You know, most people take supplements for their pre and probiotics. Um, they don't eat or drink enough of the other stuff to really uh, be adequate. And that's what most people do, certainly what I do. Um, but let's talk about butyrate. Um, some people call butyrate really a postbiotic. By that, they mean it's almost like a repairman to tighten up those loose junctions in the lining of your gut. Think, you know, we talk about leaky gut all the time. Think about these holes in your intestinal linings that toxins get through that aren't supposed to get through, whether it's a bad stuff from a food, an additive, um, or if it's a heavy metal. Um, it can be one, or a, anything. Um, PCBs, it can be um, any anything, pesticides, inorganic materials, organic materials, anything that kind of that you ingest that should move through you 
that, that gets into your bloodstream and kicks off that inflammatory cycle. So you want, you want butyrate to really tighten up those junctions um, along with your pre and, and uh, prebiotics and probiotics. So think about leaky gut. Um, very, very important. That's always where we start out. Um, and remember, inflammation is the root cause of almost every disease process out there. Uh, everybody knows this. So butyrate can help close these holes in the gut lining. It's also a very good antioxidant. Um, and it's really the preferred fuel for your brain and your, mito and your mitochondria energy source. Um, so we're really, butyrate is really an exogenous ketone uh, that we talk about that your body produces when it's fasting or when you're on a ketogenic diet uh, with virtually no carbs or at least less than 20%. Um, the problem with being on a ketogenic diet, which I love, I mean, you, you really will lose weight, you'll be more energetic, you'll burn fuel more efficient, efficiently because Fat is a preferred source of energy. So your body actually produces this butyrate. Um, but it's, I don't know many people that can really stay on a purely ketogenic diet. It's very hard. Um, but we all know the benefits of ketosis, certainly. And, you know, for people that ask me about what they should eat, I always say very low carb and more good fats, moderate protein. Um, so... Um, Things that ketosis does, weight loss, um, improve cognition, decrease seizures. Remember, before we had all the seizure medications, the only thing they could do for people with these intractable seizures um, really was put them in ketosis. Um, so, and CBD, remember that one. Go back to a podcast on CBD for seizures. Um, but it also increases your energy burning fats so these exogenous ketones like butyrate are really helpful um, so it really puts you in a state of ketosis without having to get on that very very low carb diet which hardly anybody can do um, that's why you should lose weight on this the supplement butyrate plus if you have ibs leaky gut it's going to help that too um, so I'll usually try that. I'll add that to see if it will help some of this other stuff we do for your gut. Um, like I say, it's great for energy. It's great for your brain. Um, some people call these things ketone salts, which is really sodium or magnesium butyrate. Um, now there's another, there's really two kinds of exogenous ketones, um, there's the ketone salts, which I prefer, and ketone esters, which is really double bonded to, to alcohol, not that kind of alcohol. But, but that product, the ketone esters, which you can get too as a supplement, you know, they're, they're more potent. Um, they taste terrible. So most people prefer the salts, um, whether it be sodium to buffer the, the, but, so the butyric acid, butyrate, or magnesium, some people use that. Um, but anyway, and a lot of people combine it with MCT oil, medium chain triglycerides. Uh, you've all heard of that. And it, that kind of improves uh, really the ability um, to prolong ketosis um, and maybe the tolerability of it a little bit. Um, so when I talk about butyrate, I'm talking about a useful supplement for your gut to heal. It probably is going to aid in weight loss, help your energy, and your metabolism in general. Um, because it's a salt, some people are sensitive to salt. Most people are not. So watch your blood pressure if you have hypertension. Uh, I rarely see nausea with this. Um, there's different forms of this, sup of this supplement. And, you know, I've tried them all. Again, Supplements are really, you have to, when you do a deep dive on supplements, you have to know what you're doing because, and you have to know why you're taking these things because, you know, there's, there's different forms of it. I mean, most people are not going to know the difference between HMB and butyrate, and they're totally different. 
for totally different, even though they have that butyrate name in them. So you have to know what you're doing on this. And again, you've got to take a form that's good, that's trusted. Again, anything I recommend, I'm going to try out myself. Um, so there's lots of different forms of this supplement, butyrate. I know Gundry has uh, some of it. He usually combines his with a lot of other stuff, which is okay. There's a substance called Perfect Keto that's really good. It's also a combination. Or if you just want to get a pure sodium butyrate, um, Body Bio makes a good just plain sodium butyrate. And I use that one more for healing your gut. I have that one. And it also really helps um, gas, burping, bloating, that type of thing. So if your gut's upset, um, if maybe you need to lose some weight, um, heal your gut. That's another supplement you might ought to think about taking is butyrate. So again, this stuff gets complex when you take a deep dive on it. That's why I'm here is to try to make it as simple as I can for you. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, so I hope you have a great beginning of the holiday season and holiday season. Hopefully, um, you're going to Make a resolution to stay healthier and avoid our uh, messed up healthcare system um, so you keep yourself healthy and stay educated. Thanks, this is Dr. Tom Rogers with the Common Sense MD. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.